Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here with yet another Resident Evil 2 video guide. This is for the achievement slash trophy called Treasure Hunter, which is for using the photo hints in order to find two hidden items. This can be done as early as when you get to the sewers and get the T-bar. What you'll want to do is work your way into the lower waterway and then to the workroom area. Go through the door and then use the lift to get upstairs. And once there, on the table directly in front of you in the middle of the room you should notice an item you can pick up which is a roll of film if you inspect it you'll notice that the label says hiding places on it and what do you do with a roll of film well obviously you develop it and where would you do that well you have to go all the way back to the police station from the beginning of the game which is quite a journey there's also a little bit of a secret path to get there. So we'll exit the workroom area and then go across the hall and into this area, which is the treatment facility. We will need a key specifically for this to gain access into the room. Now, once in the room, what we have to do is interact with the kind of shelving unit in the back of the room. And this will allow us to move it to the side showing us a secret location which is a elevator shaft that we can now ride up once we ride it up to the top you just want to follow the staircase all the way to the top floor and there you will find yet another elevator once you find the second elevator you'll also want to ride that elevator up this area should start looking familiar to you as this is the area we first descended into the sewers Once back at the police station, just open up your map and search for the dark room. It's going to be on the first or main floor, and then it'll be in the west wing. I'll show you it on the map right here, and then we will just head on over through the magic of editing in order to interact with the little uh, wash sink there. And once you interact with that, you'll want to use the roll of film on this area, and that will develop two separate pictures for us called hiding place. At this point, we need to go to these two locations to find the secret items. The first one can be found inside of the star's office on the second floor, basically directly above the dark room. You'll want to go into the small side office and then look in the cupboard next to the chair. Here you will find a wooden box, which you will need to put into your inventory. Then examine this wooden box, spin it around and open it. This will reveal a red dot sight for your lightning hawk pistol. This will allow the pistol to be aimed down sight extremely quickly. Not down sight, but like over the shoulder when you snap to a target. You can do that a lot more quickly now that you have the red dot sight on that powerful weapon. Now the next location is the press room, which is on the first floor of the east wing of the police station. This is pretty much very early on in the game. You probably would have been here. There isn't really much to do in this room other than, I believe, a collectible. But in the back of the room next to the stereo, you can find a small drawer. Inside of that drawer, you can find 400 fuel for your flamethrower, which will be extremely useful as this ammo is very hard to come by and the weapon is super powerful. Once you do both of those locations, you'll also unlock the achievement or trophy. And thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if this was helpful, useful, or informational. Special thanks to the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.